I'll jump in here. Good to see you, Taylor. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you, man. Just uh, kind of moving parts along the offensive line. Uh, just your thoughts on, on kind of what this group can, can do as it sort of has to remake itself again in, in light of the injuries to Matt and uh, Cam. Um, I have a ton of faith in everyone in the room, and I believe wholeheartedly that they'll step up to the challenge. And um, you know, I'm just going to continue to <clears throat> play my role, do my best to fill in and be a leader in the room and do everything I can so we can come out as an offensive line and play the best of our ability. Hey, uh, David Newton. Hey, Taylor, appreciate you being here with us today. Um, you guys only allowed like one sack yesterday. So how did you feel like the line played overall? Um, personally, I'm never satisfied with it. I'm always going back, looking at the film and evaluating what I can do better and what I can do to help the offensive line do better. And ultimately, there's, there's a lot of room to, to improve. You know, there might have been one sack, but who knows you know, how many pressures. So ultimately, my goal is to do everything I can so it feels like 7-on-7 seven seven back there for them when it comes to the, to the passes. Having said that, what's, for, for you guys as a line to, to be busting your butt with all the injuries going on out there, and, and then having the quarterback continue to, to make plays that cost you a chance to win the game. How do you deal with that? Just, <clears throat> I mean, like during the game or after? Excuse me? I'm sorry. Did you mean like, how do you deal with like during the game? You mean after the game? Both. I mean, just, I mean, because you guys, like I said, I mean, if, if when you throw in interceptions like at that rate, it's just hard to win games. Um, you know, ultimately, I just stick to control what I can control. And that is doing what I can to protect the quarterback. So, like I said before, just continue to do everything in my power to make him as comfortable back there, so he can make his, you know, his best decisions. Obviously, you know, the more comfortable a quarterback is in the pocket, the more apt he is to make better decisions. So I just do everything I can to play my role, so he can play the best of his ability. I will go to Darren Gant next. Taylor, how, how would you describe the complexity of, of what Matt did at center in terms of calling protections, and, and how difficult is that to replace on the fly? Matt's a tremendous leader, tremendous um, player and communicator, and very very intelligent guy. He he's done a he's he's done a lot to make sure that we're all on the right guys, and we're all in the. <clears throat> we're all doing and going where we're supposed to go. So, you know, huge blow, but ultimately, like I said before, I have faith in everyone in the room and I believe, you know, the next man up mentality and the next guy in will play and do do his job and we'll do everything we can through the week to make sure he's as prepared as he can be and as a front, we're all as prepared as we can be. All right, next question will go to Jonathan Alexander. Hey, Taylor, hope you're doing well. Um, you talked a little bit about the film. I'm wondering, what did you take away uh, from the film as far as the offensive line goes? Um, I think a couple plays I want back. And um, just little things technique-wise that, you know, I feel like I can, I can clean up. And that's always how it is in this game. So, you know, back to the, back to the drawing board. And, you know, I can't just sit here and it'll take forever to talk about what every you know what everyone needs to work on step by step. I know what I need to work on, and you know I'm excited for the opportunity come Wednesday to come in and you know hone in my craft and just continue to improve. And it sounded like you were saying it earlier, but I just wanted to ask you, you know, did you feel like the offensive line has in some ways bears some responsibility for Sam Brown's struggles? I I can't. I'm not going to come up here and speak on the offensive line. I'll just speak for myself. And like I said, I'm, I know there's some plays I want back and continue to just do everything I can. I don't, it's not about placing blame here or there. It's just what, what can we do to, to get better? You know, that's, that's, my, that's my job. And my job as a captain, I feel like, is do everything I can to help the offensive line play to the best of their ability. So that's just what I'm going to continue to work on. 
All right, we'll go back to Joe Person. Eller, is there much different from a, a difference from a lineman's perspective blocking for Sam versus PJ? Um, ultimately, um, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. It just – I want to work on – like as offense, we talk about building a dish, right? So the guards and centers, they're responsible for the depth of the pocket and tackles are responsible, responsible for the width. So, it, you know, it doesn't matter who the quarterback is. I want to do my job of making sure I keep the width of the pocket and making sure whoever the quarterback is, he's as comfortable as he can be so he can make his reads and play to the best of his ability. I didn't know if with kind of PJ, and Sam runs also, but with PJ's sort of uh, impromptu running ability, if you have to be kind of mindful, uh, is he running, is he throwing, and you know, don't want to be like an uh, lineman downfield, so to speak. No, I'm ultimately, when I'm out there, I'm, I'm focused on what does this defensive end do in front of me? And, you know, having my game plan in my head of how I'm going to block that player you know, as, as well as I can. So, you know, all, everything else is out of my control and comes down to controlling what you can control, so. And one more thing, like I said, you guys have some different pieces up front. Just kind of wonder, uh, like Michael Jordan, like what kind of, what, what's been your assessment of him just kind of as a teammate, but also, you know, as a, as a lineman? How he, um, you can tell on film it shows he he, should, um, he plays a lot of physicality. You know, I like his mindset coming into games, and you know he's he's a tempo setter up front. You know, I know we're all he, we're all fired up to have him out there, and we're all excited to be able to play with him. And do we can do we can to match his energy when it comes to physicality standpoint.